The Title IV 1 to 1.9 dimension flags, Title IV section 1, 2, and 3, the grammar for claiming the flag was written in modification language, which means they were using adjectives and adverbs to create verbs and pronouns. There were no facts in that statement. Who were they? The government styles manual for printing office under the u.s codes so back in the day when the u.s flag was actually created is that what you're correct. referring to correct the grammar that they used was done in a modification modification state where there were no facts on the page we saw the united states government was coming out of bankruptcy because we had access to the books you mean you and david win miller david hyper wincombe miller yes. your partner my partner at the time yeah we 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 were cognizant that it was co that they that we had to do something right well the first rule of contract when you go to a port or a bank or open up any business on a global level is flag etiquette so we started studying up and brushing up on the how to use the flag and we wrote the copyrights to the flag in quantum grammar, but we filed it at the post office of the United Nations to be bearers and owners of the flag. Because the patent office, we knew that the United States government was going to have to vacate the estate, which means that the U.S. Post, the United States Postal Service and the United States Post Office couldn't authorize any functions underneath it, which means it couldn't authorize the uh, the patent the U.S. Patent Office because it was going to be a closed entity because the post office was shut down in 1999. In 1999, when we took their flag away from them, that was the certification that they couldn't grab the flag and go back in and reset up terms. So we took it away from the shareholders of the federal contractors, the capacity to legally set up a corporate structure for business. So we had to file copyrights on that, and we found that the United Nations and published worldwide. It was accepted at the United Nations, and we were given our sovereignty status, not from them, because they couldn't give us sovereignty status. Sovereigns claim their status, right? Because the United Nations was a fraudulent organization. It modifies their grammar as well. It has no standing in the now space. Later on in life, I would get those conversations with the heads of the United Nations. And to get back to your point, so as bearer of the flag and owner of the flag, if I choose to set up terms and accept terms, I can hoist the colors anywhere in the world and I'm accepted to, to deal in business, to biz business transactions, as well as negotiate trade and peace on a global level. Now, does anyone else recognize that? Everywhere in the world. So Everybody. they all know this. Yes. And they knew it then. All countries of the world understood at that time when you not took at, the flag. Not at that time, not until we sat down with them at the United Nations. Then they became knowledgeable. So you that. gave them what you call closure at that point in time uh, yes. of the correct but, parse syntax grammar filing and why that's important. Correct. We sat down typically two hours to four hours per meeting. You know, ambassadors are very busy in their day-to-day -day lives at the United Nations. But some ambassadors call this back as many as 20 times to specific countries to have a conversation specifically with me about the quantum banking system and the ramifications for corporate structure of meritocracy on wars, docks, and quays. Right? And so those were wonderful conversations. They asked um, a lot of technical stuff that was designed in there of me, and, and I gave them the necessary closure so that they could pass that, if, that closure on to their treasury departments. Now, when you actually took the copyright and you filed the copyright, what did that give you differently than you had previously? Well, it was the first time in the history of mankind that a flag was claimed in the now space. A flag had never been claimed in grammar in the now space. Now space is a very valuable tool. In our quantum grammar system, we study the word parse, which means we break words apart. We don't use future tense words like to, and we don't use mod adverbs to modify our facts, or our adjectives or pronouns, we make them nouns. So we have a sequence of not being in past tense and not being in future tense, but maintaining the parameters of the grammar on paperwork, on contract, in a now tense scenario, which has never been done in the history of planet Earth. Each country, each corporation, and each person on the planet only writ, wrote in modification grammar where they were using subjective interpretation on words because they were untrained in the mathematical interface on grammar.
And so there is actually a mathematical language that you discovered, or you... And David. Well, did you really discover that language, or, or is it something that We've, they already knew, and you just exposed it? I have no knowledge of that, because I don't know what other people know. So I can't answer that question. What I do know is we were the ones to publish it. We found it in a graft, and then I brought the now tense scenario to David, and we formed our partnership, and then it blossomed from there. And what was the purpose of taking that on and actually correcting everything in the Parse Syntax Grammar? Well, it gives, gives closure on facts, and it does away with subjective interpretation. It gives fairness on the playing field and contract. So people can't argue about words. They know the terms, and they know the performances that need to be done. And upon those performances, now duties can be dealt out of accountability if need be. So then you took the authorization and the copyright of the flag. Yes. At what point... Did you then take a next step and say, I'm now going to do something with this flag? I walked into the U.S. Pentagon and leased them the flag. What did they say at the U.S. Thank Pentagon? Thank you. You're the only citizen that cared and even knew about this. We didn't even know ourselves. Thank you. Thank you, Russell. Thank you, David. We didn't know. That's powerful.